All right, ladies and gentlemen. I am in ASAP, Illinois. This is the water tower right back there. I am all the way back here. To see the grave of Emmett Till. Now, most of you don't know. The name may, may sound familiar, but Emmett Till was a 14-year-old boy from Chicago. He went to uh, see his uncle in Mississippi. He was known to be a prankster. Uh, the story is told differently depending on who, you, who was asked. But the general assumption was that he was dared to whistle at a white woman, which was very a uh, big no-no back in the day. And he would, uh, and three days later, found out the, the woman's husband and brother found where the kid lived, or was living with his uncle at the time. And he... They uh, tortured him, beat him to a pulp, shot him, gouged one of his eyes out, pulled his teeth out, and eventually, after all that, ended up killing him. They uh, put him into the uh, river down there, tied a 75-foot, 75-pound fan to his to him, and dumped, dumped his body. Three days later, he was found, and uh, he was beyond recognition. The only way they could identify him would be through a ring that was on his finger had his initials on it. When he, uh, they were going to bury him right there, but the mom got a hold of him. We're going to get a picture of the mom's grave while we're out here. Uh, mom saw it, and she went and buried up here with, with at home with her, with her the family. When, uh, apparently the mortuary was forbidden by law, to not not show not open the casket, but Hammond's mother insisted on it. She saw her son the way she was, and she decided on an open casket. Due to I want to show the world what uh, white men did to her son, show the brutality of what happened. Even though it was just a prank, it was still no a prank that he he pulled. So, they had an open casket. There's pictures online. I'm not gonna, I might post them later, but depends how out of bad taste if I feel like it later. Ended up, this, this event ended up sparking the Civil Rights Act movement. Uh, started Rosa Parks, and then, which you now influenced Martin Luther King. But it all started here with Emmett Till, 14 year old boy.